Today's video about blood pressure and uh, pulse, so, so the heart beat rate, as markers, as markers of our health and what connection can it be to life extension. So it is again, I, I highly recommend you to download the presentation and to read it because it is much more easy to get information uh, as a text uh, with references to sources and then you can uh, get maybe better better idea about what I'm talking about. Or also uh, you can download sound, sound and then uh, it is, uh, so you can hear the presentation, my, my words, just as sound. Yeah, I, I hopefully it will be understandable, but even with my not quite uh, native speaker uh, accent, but because it is uh, my, not my mother tongue, but yet I, tr I tried to explain it, uh, yeah, and then again, uh, I, I, would, I would remind you that I am not a medical professional, so my uh, um, goal is to extend my, uh, my own life uh, span, and I consider uh, the extension of life, extension of longevity is, is a scientific problem, and in my life I cracked quite many problems, and I moved from uh, that's why the physics to um, uh, like to chemistry and to rheology and other subjects and I always was getting some very interesting solutions to, to the standing problem. Oh, it's raining outside. It's okay, but I hope that that it is not much disturbing noise. But heavy rain we have here. So this this is my point that I try to think logically. Uh, and I'm interested personally to, to, to get the, uh, the solution of the problem. And then when I get into to the subject, it is new to me, I never was in the medical research. And when, when I do it, when I go to the subject, when I learn it, then it is quite, uh, I'm astonished that it looks like people cannot think logically. That uh, conclusions, what they make, it is, I don't know, I was in this area, it was this high, high, uh, the hyper, hypertony, uh, about high um, uh, blood pressure only a few days. I was learning only a few days. I never had any problem with my uh, blood pressure, so I was not interested. But okay, I get, I get into it now, and then again I read it and just like, well, okay, what is, what, what the people are doing? Okay, let's go. Again. Functioning of each cell in our body is provided by continuous exchange of chemical substances when oxygen and chemical compounds necessary for the cells as well as hormones and signaling molecules enter the, uh, enter the cell from the inter intercellular fluid while carbon dioxide and the cell waste products as well as signaling molecules leave the cell. And the exchange of substances between blood and intercellular fluid occurs through the permeable uh, wall of the capillaries connecting the arterial and venous uh, circulatory systems. In one minute about 60 liters of liquid seeps through the walls of, of, of all human capillaries. 60 uh, liters per minute, it's a lot. Every second one liter of uh, fluid uh, plasma, uh, 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 that's a serum of, of blood go outside, go to the inter, inter, intercellular uh, space, intercellular, uh, and then it is also sucked inside. So it is this system, uh, so all our body functioning because of the, uh, this um, blood flow. And uh, then uh, there is no gas exchange, of course, and diffusion of substances in the arteries and veins, so in big uh, uh, blood vessels and uh, they only simple ways of delivering blood. And, but the more distant from heart blood vessels are, the smaller they are in cross-section and larger in number. This is why look like this picture. So you see some, some larger uh, arteries uh, and uh, larger blood vessels, they, they are uh, splitting, uh, they are getting to smaller size and smaller and smaller. Even we cannot see capillaries because capillaries uh, are so, so small. They are in the range of microns. We can uh, get to this uh, later. And the heart work, works as a pump for, for blood and creates the difference in blood pressure between aorta and the, and the vena, 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 uh, uh, vena cava. It is a Latin, okay? So it's a vein, a main vein which is uh, uh, supplied 
collect uh, all the blood from our body and uh, supply it to the heart. The pressure uh, at the outlet of the heart in the aorta, in the, in, in the large arteries, differs insignificantly, like 5-10 millimeters of mercury. Uh, and uh, since due to the large diameter of the vessels, uh, the hydrodynamic resistance is low. And pressure in large veins is slightly less, slightly lower than atmospheric pressure, maybe 5-10 millimeters of uh, mercury. And the greatest drop in blood pressure occurs in small blood vessels. <coughs> Arterioles, capillaries, and venous, especially capillaries. In addition, the value of uh, arterial blood pressure, the syst uh, systolic uh, blood pressure, depends on the total lumen of the uh, blood vessels. With shrinking of the arterioles and capillaries, this uh, 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 blood pressure increases and their expansion, if uh, these blood vessels are expanding, uh, especially capillaries, then the blood pressure decreases. And also blood pressure depends on the volume of the blood in the body. An increase in blood volume, for example, when you are drinking water, a lot of water, and this it increases blood pressure and decreasing blood volume, uh, for example, with blood loss or when taking uh, diuretics, uh, diuretics, and uh, then it leads to its reduction. Okay, then, but a lumen of the uh, abdominal uh, capillaries in which a large portion of the blood uh, go, have a particular large effect on the arterial blood pressure. Okay, then look at this picture. You see a big difference in the structure of the vein and uh, capilla and uh, artery. Vein has such valve inside, inside valve. So, uh, because uh, uh, blood in, in veins is go, go up, go to the, uh, not only by uh, heart pressure, because we have these capillaries, they are so small, all, all the uh, pressure drops in, in there, but we, we have to supply vein, b b through the vein, uh, this blood with uh, uh, carbon oxide, and then it is a little bit different story, or different from arteries. And you see sizes, it's uh, the minimum arteries uh, one millimeter, and we go to capillary. Capillary can be small, as small as half micron. Half micron, can you imagine? It is really, really small size uh, capillary, uh, blood vessels. And because all the uh, pre uh, pressure, the drop happens in the capillaries, then arterial blood pressure is maintained at certain level due to the contraction of the mu muscle walls of the middle and small arteries, arterioles, and contraction of the most of the capillaries in the non-functioning non organs in response to nerve impulses from receptors uh, located inside the blood vessels. Okay, you, you please uh, better download and read it because it's quite a lot of information and it is quite general information. So maybe we should not go to such, such details, but I was uh, taking this um, information for me just to understand how it works okay then again uh, that uh, if uh, some organ is not working then uh, the capillaries can uh, contract in, in there and then uh, then we have bl more blood uh, supplied to the working organs again uh, about the difference between arteries and uh, the wells uh, and the, and the uh, veins uh, then uh, the venous blood vessels and li lymph uh, vessels have internal valves that restrict the flow of blood and lymph in the opposite uh, uh, to the to direction to the heart. So it is again, and uh, and also blood uh, also uh, also blood flow is mainly provided by contraction of the heart muscle during the physical activity. An increase in blood flow in veins is also provided by movements of the diaphragm and muscle, muscle contractions. Diaphragm is sucking blood and sucking uh, with, uh, with the movement of the uh, diaphragm. It is, we have uh, uh, pressure drop uh, that we, we can breathe air, but also blood is sucking in. So, and uh, the pressure in the vein, uh, the main vein is less than atmospheric. And 
But again, um, the contraction of the muscles, muscles around the veins is very, very important. So because it, it is pumping, uh, pumping blood through our uh, uh, circulatory system. And it is very, very important, especially uh, it, it, it relates to flow, flow, flow of blood in veins of the legs. This is why cycling, swimming with fins, uh, rowing or similar exercises with simulators in a gym are well suited as aerobic exercises to get a high load on the leg muscles and to reduce the load on the heart for pumping blood. Jogging is, uh, I believe, more problematic in the sense that there is a high uh, shock load on the knees and other bone joints and uh, that can wear out over time. So I was jogging when I was a boy, when I was at school, I mean 16 years old, I was jogging a lot, but uh, uh, then, then I changed to cycling and oh, uh, at that time I also was going much to, to cycling, but, but again, uh, I believe that cycling and swimming with fins and the rowing is much more healthy. So, so you see how it works. The muscles con uh, contract and press, press the, the blood to, uh, uh, up because of these uh, wells. They open uh, the, uh, above the contracting muscle and they close uh, below. Okay, you see how it works. And the best uh, training machines to, and, and simulators, to my opinion, is this rowing. Rowing, if it is available, I always go rowing uh, half hour, one hour, just for to get warm, to get uh, to get my body warm, and uh, to to start some <coughs> uh, some heavy weight uh, exercises and. Uh, uh, but this is very, very important to put, uh, to, to uh, circulate our blood. I also uh, a very good uh, cyclist, not very good, but I, at least I am devoted to cycling. And uh, just today I was uh, making like 35, uh, maybe 40 kilometers. And it took me a yeah, little bit more than one hour. So it was, I was <coughs> coming to with a high speed, as, as high as, as I can. Also, I like swimming in fins. And uh, I, I swim in fins maybe three times a week, and uh, it is also very, very healthy. And uh, because again, blood circulates, and then with, when your legs are moving, contracting, then your heart is not so loaded. And this is very helpful because blood is coming. It, we have like distributed heart, distributed pump system in the body, and then if it is not only heart uh, loaded, but uh, all the body works and pumping uh, uh, blood and then uh, we have exchange of these gases and uh, all the substances and our body functioning is so much better. So this is, this exercises are very, very good. As I, I said, I don't like jogging uh, much, but, uh, but uh, if you have uh, space in, uh, in your apartment, because uh, such a rowing is <coughs> quite a compact uh, uh, size, you can put it in, in a corner of your room or disassemble a little bit. But <clears throat> if you have space and money to buy such uh, a trade mill, trade mill, so you can with uh, high, heavy, with high uh, inclination, then yeah, it is also very, very good. So it's, you are just coming up, it is like you are ascending, ascending to the uphill. And then uh, you can do some job, maybe uh, uh, make a telephone calls or whatever, or watch a video, a movie. And uh, uh, such t uh, also uh, this uh, t uh, training machine also very very nice. A uh, little bit more complicated, uh, but okay. But well, again, if you can, uh, if you can go to the gym with such uh, simulators, just do it. Just do it. It's very very helpful. Okay, then as I said, uh, okay, the, the flow of blood in the, in the aorta accompanied by a push of blood into the elastic wall of the aorta and into the blood uh, in it. The result is a wave, wave with this expansion of the elastic wall of the aorta and arteries. Expansion, so it is just making uh, uh, propagation of the valve. Uh, of the wave, of the wave, uh, it is like uh, ocean wave, but uh, ocean wave at the surface. And here we have elastic pipe, and elastic pipe uh, uh, that uh, it is uh, the, this wall, 
it is wall propagates uh, due to elasticity of the, of the, of the pipe, of the, of the aorta. And this wave travels towards the blood vessels uh, much faster than uh, flow blood, of course, flow of blood in them, and pu pulse rate is the number of contractions of the heart muscle per minute. Okay, optimal conditions for the work of the heart are created when the, the uh, ven ventricle uh, of the heart has time to get completely filled with blood. Again, this is quite important. So again, the, because uh, uh, normal people say normal uh, heartbeat rate, normal pulse is about 60 beats per minute, but uh, my um, heartbeat rate is 50. And it's uh, again, if you have large size of the, of the, of the heart, large size, you're a well-trained person, and then it takes a little bit longer to fill it, fill, fill it with blood, and then uh, as, uh, your pulse will be less than 60 uh, pulse per minute. It, it is quite normal, quite normal, because trained persons, uh, again, uh, the, the, they normally have a heartbeat rate about 40, 50 beats per minute, like I have 50. And, uh, and then uh, actually, the slower, at slower rate of contractions, nutrition and metabolism in the heart muscle, in the cells of the, of the heart muscle, improves, so it is better. So again, there is, there is even such common uh, saying that you live as, uh, as uh, to make some certain number of contractions. So if your heartbeat uh, uh, it's, is low, heartbeat rate is low, then uh, you will live longer. Certainly, okay. I believe I believe I will live longer. Okay, it may be not ten, maybe not twenty percent, but more. Okay, just, just I think so. Again, some marathon runners uh, have a resting heartbeat uh, rate uh, less than thirty beats per minute. It's again, it is even, uh, but I would say such heavy words, uh, heavy. It's actually too much probably. If you uh, if your goal is just to live longer and enjoy life. Maybe running marathons is not a good idea because it's too much. It is too too, too heavy uh, load. But if you, you enjoy if you enjoy the exercise, you go to for one hour or two hours for aerobic exercises at least three times a day, or pardon three times a week. Then it is very very helpful for your for your heart. And also, what is important? What is important when you have this uh, strong heart? Then uh, the aerobic exercises has positive effect on your emotional state and your ability to cope with strong emotional stress. So you have some people who have a weak heart. Then, in case of stress, uh, the, the heartbeat is going very, very high, uh, heartbeat rate, and then. You, they are really excited, they are really getting a lot of this cortisol and other adrenaline uh, hormones in blood. But, but if you are well trained, then uh, the, the sensitivity of your heart or your muscles in the heart is uh, to this, these hormones is not, uh, 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 no, is like below a little bit. Below what is uh, I mean, considered normal. But again, it, it gives you um, stability of your mood, you take it easy, you take easy even some strong emotions. Well, and then uh, again, uh, we know that heart, uh, blood pressure, it depends on uh, status of the blood vessels. Uh, is your blood vessels are open, uh, dilated or, or, or they are contracted? And then it depends very much and, uh, on, on the blood vessels. And problem again, if, you, if when I read uh, this, um, these uh, materials, uh, I see, uh, okay, then some pe people uh, actually point out uh, quite uh, reasonable, mm, uh, why, why uh, uh, reasonable ideas, why uh, uh, the blood pressure is growing in age. Like they have, they, they explain it so that uh, there is a chemical cross-linking of proteins with glucose and fructose molecules. That is the process of glycation of collagen and muscle fibers and cellular aging and calcium deposition on the vessel walls and inflammation of the vessel walls. So this is so inflammation and glycation. Glycation, this is two, two big problems. Yeah? Two big problems and cross-linking of proteins Glycation occurs when sugars and chemical compounds, including sugars such as lipopolysaccharides 
and glucose, uh, glucose pain molecules chemically react with protein molecules in the inter ex extracellular matrix extracellular matrix and then this causes a loss of elasticity in tissues such as skin muscles and blood vessels wall, walls which in turn leads to uh, hypertension high blood pressure and degeneration of the heart muscle damage to the brain and kidneys uh, due to destruction of small uh, capillaries and so on blood pressure and then again, um, uh, it would be good to have such uh, agents or such uh, medications that break down protein, glyca protein glycation products uh, in, in tissue and, vascular, uh, and to improve uh, elasticity, vascular elasticity, then it would be much better. But unfortunately, when a few researchers are working in this area, I believe that I, I do some pro progress in it and uh, I explain it a uh, little bit uh, later. So in my opinion, it works. It just takes time. It takes time, but you can you can reverse the glycation problem, this glycation of proteins. Okay. Then again, uh, people, uh, you you can see some publications. Oh yeah, well well. Then okay, if you go to exercises, this is very 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 good uh, for uh, to reduce your heart, uh, high blood pressure. That's what I will tell you. So, so if your mu muscles are pumping the blood, then it is so much better uh, for all your body that uh, uh, the heart is not so loaded and it is a little bit more relaxed and also the size of the heart is increasing and it works uh, all the metabolism in the, in the cells are working better. So people make experiments with uh, some animals, with um, uh, pig, pygmy uh, pigs, and uh, but they used only they used uh, physical exercises, but also, uh, yeah, 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 okay. Uh, okay, that's okay, you can uh, read the publication already. Uh, because uh, uh, mostly what people are doing, they use uh, medications. They use medication, so, and again, the, the course is, uh, this is glycation, glycation of the proteins. And again, uh, if you uh, want to uh, reduce the problem, I just cut uh, consumption of uh, carbohydrates. This is the first step. First step, low carbohydrates, or not, no carbohydrates at all. Then uh, your uh, glucose level in blood is low, stable and low. And then uh, with such conditions, slowly, slowly with some tricks, you can uh, reduce this uh, glycation. And you can get elasticity of your blood vessels, you can get elasticity of your skin. It takes time, of course, it takes time, two, three years, but, but uh, for uh, elasticity of blood vessels, even, even shorter. Because skin is sick, uh, but blood vessels are, uh, elastic waves are, elastic waves are very thin, so the, it can be much uh, quicker, the result. Okay, then uh, they say the best uh, blood pressure is below 120. Then uh, if uh, you reduce, but wh what they are doing, uh, they propose to use medications. So it again, it is quite absolutely out of logic and I, I cannot understand it. So, okay, because I consider high blood pressure, it is indication of some problem. Your, your body tries to uh, adapt to the, to, the, to, the, to the problem. So your body tries to adapt to, to stiffening of blood vessels. Or, or, or chronic inflammation and, and because of chronic inflammation also the lumen of the uh, blood vessels is shrinking and uh, then uh, you need more power to uh, more pressure to provide blood to every organs or to every uh, part of your body and to brain especially and but taking medications uh, which are just reduce uh, blood uh, reduce blood pressure I cannot understand because again <laughs> Again, I don't understand this this idea. But they okay. They this medical area, medical specialist, they, they believe that it, it is a solution. So just take three, five uh, medications uh, to reduce blood pressure to below 120, and you will live longer. I cannot uh, call this uh, life as a uh, life. You cannot enjoy a life if you have so many medications, and then your body is not functioning properly. Uh, to extend life is actually to live healthy life. 
and you have to remove this problem at all and problem as I said chronic inflammation first of all and the second problem is uh, this glyca glycation glycation and uh, then just go in steps to, to get it uh, to reduce it okay then again uh, you can read other publications that oh blah 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 high blood pressure is not good and uh, then you can use some medications and uh, to, to bring the blood pressure below 120 uh, yeah yeah okay then yeah and some uh, epi uh, epidemiological studies that uh, people who get many uh, many of these blood reducing blood pressure reducing medications they live a little bit longer well but okay then this what what they do and they just reduce the symptom again uh, instead of going to the root of the problem they try to just cut these markers and again your body tries tries to fit the problem to 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 adapt to the problem and instead of helping your body and uh, removing the, the the reason why 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 you're getting uh, the, this high blood pressure you have to think logically what to do and then it will work <clears throat> okay then again uh, if you people will reduce blood pressure they have uh, less brain degeneration well of course if you have blood pressure uh, and the stroke and then uh, your blood vessels in in the brain are just broken and then you have neurons uh, dead after all of course uh, in this sense uh, yeah you can uh, slow down brain degeneration with some medications but again it is to my opinion, it is a little bit strange, and I don't, I don't, I, I cannot understand why they're doing it. Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, I understand this is a business to sell uh, these uh, medications and to keep people sick for for long, and so that people will suffer. But the, if they will not uh, take this medication, it will be even worse. Well, well, well. Okay, then. <clears throat> okay, cognitive decline is less than if uh, people use some mm, uh, medications. And um, and there is also idea idea uh, that uh, hypertension is uh, related to atherosclerosis and atherosclerosis is related to accumulation of these macrophages. Uh, you know, uh, if you was watching my video previous video, I was explaining what is atherosclerosis. It is result of consumption of uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids, uh, like uh, in uh, in vegetable oils in, in the uh, oils from plant seeds. And then this uh, oxidized uh, oil is uh, very sticky and then uh, these uh, lipoproteins uh, accumulate in small arteries and small uh, capillaries and then macrophages, uh, macrophages are coming to, to, uh, as, uh, to, to, to repair, to, repair, to uh, digest these uh, lipoproteins. But they cannot uh, digest it because uh, oxidized uh, polyunsaturated fatty acids are not easy to digest. So instead, uh, this, uh, this waste products are accumulate in the macrophages and they are turning into uh, must into, into the uh, so the uh, lipofuscin accumulate in, in the liposomes and then as I described and then they they. Uh, degenerate to form cells and uh, then accumulate and then uh, you have the plug, the uh, uh, atherosclerotic plug and then but again uh, just stop using the polyunsaturated fatty acids stop using uh, this uh, oils from plant seeds this is the solution why not to tell people okay this is because of this, this is because of this just go exercises yes go exercises uh, make put water to, to, to your leg muscles it will pump blood it will clean uh, your body because it's again it's very very helpful to get a better circulation of blood but also you change the diet remove the carbohydrates completely then you will reduce the problem of uh, glycation and then uh, uh, avoid uh, this uh, oils which are from uh, seeds from plant seeds because they are toxic, they are toxic, they, they, they produce atherosclerosis. And instead of doing this, instead of uh, telling people, okay, you have to just change diet, you change uh, your st the lifestyle. But no, no, they, they will make a shunt, or I mean, they, they will make some operation and give you some medications and uh, 
make you more sick so that you will be, uh, I don't know, this is not life, it is suffering, absolutely suffering. Also, uh, I was explaining in previous videos, but I, again, I, I want to tell again that what is the problem of chronic inflammation? Chronic inflammation is the central uh, to uh, almost every degenerative disease is the central and to high blood pressure too. Why? Because um, w uh, when you are getting older, your acidity uh, in, uh, in uh, uh, acidity of gastric uh, juice decreases. And this uh, leads to degeneration, uh, to, to deterioration in the digestion of proteins. Proteins are not digested, okay, because you have uh, not, uh, not acidic uh, uh, juice, uh, gastric juice. And because uh, the, the proteins are not uh, digested, also especially if you consume proteins together with carbohydrates or some maybe fibers or whatever, so not, uh, not, do not, if you do not separate uh, proteins from other uh, kind of food, then proteins are getting to your intestines together with pathogenic bacteria. Because if the acidity of, the, of your uh, gastric juice is, is not enough, not, not high enough, then uh, bacteria will be not killed, they will get to, to your intestines. And they, inside, they produce these toxins. In particular, they produce these lipopolysaccharides. The lipopolysaccharides, which are absolutely uh, fantastically toxic, Additionally to this, you are getting the uh, leaky gut syndrome, and then uh, even bacteria, uh, this pathogenic bacteria can get to your bloodstream, and then your immune system is overloaded in attempts to, to cure, to uh, reduce the damage. And if it is overloaded, it is not removing the, uh, the senescent cells, the zombie cells at, at speed they appear, and then uh, accumulation of the zombie cells accelerates as exponential and you have explosion of this in number of senescent cells and you eventually die. But again, that's, uh, what to do? It's easy. Solution is so easy. Solution is so easy. Just stop uh, using carbohydrates. If you eat meat, eat once a day meat, go to one meal a day, yeah, it's enough. We eat a lot of meat and a lot of fish and uh, whatever eggs maybe. Eggs are the best. They give you satiety. They give you all the vitamins. They give you everything. But try to find good quality eggs, of course. <coughs> and then when slowly, slowly your digestive system will be recovered uh, because you, you have one meal a day and then it, it is resting a little bit and then it is like for hard. If you go exercises, uh, then your, your heart is not overloaded, actually. Your muscles, uh, your leg muscles are pumping the blood, yeah? So you give some rest, you give some rest to the heart. It works, of course it works, but it's not so loaded. It is not so loaded uh, uh, like uh, under action of, uh, uh, of these hormones. So it is again uh, good, you feel good, you feel good again, and, and then you will see uh, a reduction in the uh, chronic inflammation. Okay, then number of, again, this is, um, you can measure always the blood pressure, it is very easy and you can control it, you can see how it, it is uh, getting better if you change your lifestyle and if you change your uh, diet and if you change your exercises, and again, it, it is quite rewarding. It's again, I have such a uh, device, it is only uh, eight American doors with delivery, a fantastic one, it stays, <laughs> stays in the other room. Okay, then I, I measure it uh, when I go to sleep and the morning also sometimes. Uh, so again, uh, but again, what, what, what I tell you, even uh, in publication you can see so such uh, discussions that okay, we cannot do anything with uh, glycation of proteins. First we can, we can, we, we, we just stop consumption of carbohydrates, this, uh, yeah, stop it, stop it. No fruits, no vegetables, and uh, no carbohydrates, uh, meat, fish, eggs, some seafood, uh, seafood products, uh, whatever, you know, any other, even insect uh, can be, <laughs> insects can be a source of protein, yeah, I, I believe so, yeah, I, I eat, uh, that um, bee, honey bee, uh, honey bee brood, brood, you know, this uh, males of the, uh, when, when the, uh, the larva, larva of these males is, uh, I just sometimes cut and eat, uh, sometimes maybe half kilo. 
and it is delicious, absolutely delicious protein, <laughs> very good. <clears throat> okay. Okay, then they say, oh, yeah, 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 then uh, problems, uh, high hypertension related to problems in the, in the, in the endothelial cells lining uh, in, in the capillaries. Yes, of course, of course, if you have chronic inflammation, if your tissues are inflamed, if your, uh, uh, the vessels, capillaries are inflamed, then your blood pressure is uh, going through the roof. And again, uh, people say uh, 120 millimeters uh, uh, of uh, mercury will be good, better than 140, blah, blah, blah. And uh, physical activity is, uh, makes better, as I said, it is working, right? And um, uh, there is some dynamics when uh, your heart is getting very big, so big that it just cannot pump you, you are just there. Uh, you're living your last years of your life on, on this earth, suffering a lot, then uh, blood pressure will drop because just heart cannot, uh, cannot pump uh, the, the blood. Okay, then again, uh, what is... Um, I cannot understand <coughs> how and I cannot uh, decide how to consider the official recommendation of medical doctors. I'm a physicist, I'm not a medical professional, yeah? The, because, <clears throat> yeah, I know that mainstream medicine is a business to, uh, to reduce symptoms of the diseases, but not to, to eliminate the, the, the course of the disease, diseases. And uh, if we go to this globalist web, website, to World Health Organization, WHO, then we can read, oh yeah, about uh, hypertension. The risk factors uh, for the development of hypertension include Excessive salt intake. Oh, mama mia. Oh, mama mia. Okay, let's go. It's absolutely wrong. Yeah, high levels of saturated fat and uh, trans fats in food, food. Okay, trans fats, uh, of course, it is uh, margarine and uh, other stuff uh, in uh, fast food. Don't do it. Don't eat fast food. But saturated fat is meat. So they, 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 they propose not to eat meat or what? and uh, insufficient intake of fruits and vegetables. Absolutely wrong, absolutely wrong. It is my experience, my, uh, with my knowledge, with my professional attitude to science, I understand it very well that uh, you have to exclude fruits and, and the vegetables, especially vegetables, not, not worthwhile to, to consume at all. Uh, all the salads, uh, I made already such mistake. I, suffering, I was suffering a lot, now I, I got to some right way. And I don't use, I don't eat any vegetables, uh, but sometimes I can eat uh, as a des dessert, uh, dessert um, one mango or one, one fruit, which is not very sweet, yeah. But if it is too sweet, I already, my body already uh, changed so much that if I consume too much uh, sugar, then I will get diarrhea. <laughs> so I don't, I don't eat it, I just don't eat it. Fat, animal fat, uh, coconut oil, and uh, fish, meat, uh, seafood, as I said, eggs, yeah, that's all. And I love it, I love it, yeah, okay. And there's a prevention that uh, this uh, WHO, they, uh, they say, okay, reduce salt intake less than five grams a day. I take at least eight, maybe 10, I don't know, I'm not, I do not measure, but I take a lot of salt. Plus I take uh, also uh, uh, other electrolytes, like magnesium chloride and uh, potassium chloride, and it, is, it, it keeps me healthy. Before I, I used to have a problem with uh, cramps uh, in legs because there was magnesium deficiency. Now, no, not anymore, not anymore. And uh, again, they they uh, they propose to increase the the, the, the number amount of fruits and vegetables in the diet. As I said, it is absolute wrong idea. It is. Uh, I just I just it makes me sick. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. This globalist. If you think, if you even think that globalists take care of you. Take care of your health and they are not inter interested in depopulation, they are not interested to make money from your health, then you are one. You are just have also no logical thinking, okay? And okay, then uh, limit, uh, limit consumption of food uh, with saturated fat. It means uh, limit uh, amount of meat. My always, I tell you always, always, change to carnivore diet, eat meat. Maybe not so much fat because in uh, older age you need more protein. You don't need so much energy for, from fat. 
because uh, but if you consume proteins it is it is it will keep your heart it will, will keep your muscles it will keep your immune system healthy you even your muscles will grow so I was in ketogenic diet I didn't consume enough of proteins and I will lose in uh, muscles this was my big mistake so again a ketogenic diet may be good for for younger people but for in older age only only car, uh, the, the carnivore diet is the solution okay so again uh, I measure it every day and uh, is, this is what uh, typically 102 to 58 it's my blood pressure and, uh, and pulse is 51 okay then you see uh, again it is 51 53 sometimes 50 uh, this uh, blood pressure sometimes uh, 100 uh, sometimes uh, 60 yeah, in this range, uh, I, I could be better, I could be better, I just don't go too much uh, on the exercises, maybe I have to increase a little bit, but I feel great. In this, you see, a uh, low, uh, this, uh, the diastolic, uh, di di uh, uh, systole, 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 it is when uh, heart contract. And when it is relaxed, it is uh, diastolic. Diastolic is if I have pronounced it well. So then if you, this low uh, pressure, is not so high if it is below 60 it is good it is good actually not too much not too much but because but it is indication that your capillaries are fine they are not inflamed they're not inflamed the the, the blood circulation easy easy blood and, and the heart is not overloaded it is relaxing and this why 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 i have 51 uh, heartbeat rate in in, in the in rest when i am go go cycling it is a little bit more it can be even uh, after very high load, maybe 130 uh, sometimes, 130 to like to 100 or to 90, like this. And but normally I have this uh, difference uh, 40 uh, between high and low 40 millimeters of hydrogen, or oh, oh, 40 millimeters of mercury. Again, that source of toxins are plant foods, plant seeds, okay? And also products of bacterial decomposition of proteins. That is rotten of undigested meat in the intestines. You have to improve your the, uh, digestibility of protein. Okay, then, then again, separate at least if you are so, so concerned about to use some fibers, I would recommend you to use uh, uh, the uh, stable, uh, stable uh, starches. And uh, I myself uh, use it and uh, the best, uh, the, the potato starch, but uh, here it is more expensive. I just take another, which is tapioca manioc uh, starch, and it works. Uh, it is cheap as dirt, and uh, it works, it works. I, I need some, little bit, I, I need some volume, uh, because if I keep one meal a day, but I take my supplements morning and evening, now I have to supply some, something for volume, not only water. So I take uh, for volume, I take the starch, and uh, so I believe it works. Some gases, yeah, okay, it, it makes a release of, hydro of uh, hydrogen, yes, hydrogen, and hydrogen is good. It works as antioxidant, <clears throat> but if it is too much, if you take too much, especially also if you take mushrooms, Mushrooms, are, um, yeah, they, they produce a lot of gases. So, okay, you can eat mushrooms, but as a source of this <coughs> food for your bacteria. Yeah, but uh, not too much. Uh, in my opinion, in my experience, if I eat too much of mushrooms, then this bloating of the stomach, it's not, not nice. And again, I take a lot of salt and no fruits, no vegetables. And because uh, the people believe that fruits are sources of uh, vitamins. No, they can uh, give you some amount of uh, potassium. Yeah, this is why uh, at carnivore diet you better uh, use a supplement, uh, the salts of potassium. I use uh, potassium chloride and um, salt it, uh, use the blend of, with uh, table salt and use a lot of this uh, mixture uh, for salting and uh, it works good for me. But what is uh, dangerous again in consumption of fruits is that uh, they have pectin, pectin, uh, apples and uh, especially uh, the lemons and, f and other uh, this, uh, fruits uh, like oranges, they have a lot of pectin. And you eat pectin and it is not digested in your uh, uh, sin, 
in intest intestines, but it go to the your colon, and in the colon bacteria uh, fermented, and the one product of the fermentation is is methanol. Methanol is a poison for our nervous system, and at very least, at very least, it leads to decreased vision in the elderly people. So if you consume a lot of even uh, sauerkraut, sauerkraut, I mean the uh, fermented cabbage, fermented cabbage has a lot of pectin. And if you uh, eat too much of uh, the sauerkraut to eat uh, fermented cabbage, it, it makes nothing good. It makes nothing good. You can, you can lose your, uh, your vision uh, eventually. And um, again, uh, this uh, large amounts of in, in, uh, undigested cellulose only lead to constipation. It is, an, it is not improving digestion at all. And uh, I do not, uh, as I said, uh, I take uh, some um, resistant starch and it, it, I believe it helps because again morning and evening I need some volume to help uh, to my, with some my supplements and then I do it. Okay, then uh, I told you uh, also now uh, the atherosclerosis uh, is, uh, accom accompanies uh, hypertension of course, of course because your uh, blood uh, vessels, uh, the wall of, of the blood vessels is getting thicker because they are inflamed, they are inflamed. That's, and information comes from, as, as a signal, as a signal, it comes to, as a signal to your immune system to come and to, to clean the vessels, to clean the capillaries from this uh, polyunsaturated uh, fatty acids and then uh, lipoproteins, which are uh, people somehow call cholesterol. It is not cholesterol. It is not cholesterol. It is low density lipoproteins. Uh, and uh, or lipoproteins and uh, they accumulate and they are vessels uh, to deliver fat and uh, to deliver fatty acids to your, uh, uh, to your body and uh, to uh, all organs of your body as you need it. And if you are on carnivore or ketogenic diet, you have a lot of this low density uh, polyproteins, uh, lipoproteins, uh, low density lipoproteins and of course, but it is good, it is actually good. Uh, if you don't use, but never use uh, polyunsaturated uh, fatty acids, never use seed oils. So if you don't use, don't use seed oils, you are, you are fine, you are fine, you will have no information. And again, uh, this information comes from your guts, as I said, do, do what, what I, I said, to reduce your chronic inflammation and then it will be okay. Um, as I said, glycation of proteins uh, slowly occurs under influence of high concentration of glucose in the blood. And these advanced glycation products are chemically stable. They accumulate slowly and uh, to remove them it is also takes a lot of time. First you have to limit uh, this uh, rate of glycation. glycation then remove this from your diet of the carbohydrates one, yeah? The second, I believe that some natural enzymes can speed up the decomposition and the elimination of glucated uh, products, advanced glucated products from the body. And for this I have a video when I explain, it is like uh, bees, uh, honey bee shirajit, it is actually kind of shirajit which is I believe uh, naturally uh, was shivered and it has a lot of enzymes. And these enzymes break down wax and heat kitten, kitten and then it is very interesting product and uh, you, uh, you, you, have, you can watch my videos uh, how I do it, how I produce the, these uh, uh, substances and uh, I can make this tincture with alcohol or with honey. It works with honey very well. So uh, watch my uh, quite recent video, it's, I do it. It's, it makes honey absolutely dark, very dark. Oh, I, 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 have, I have it with me, but okay. My, my, but again, it is absolutely dark. Very, very deep red, deep red, uh, uh, dark red color. And it is even uh, if you look uh, with uh, some lamp on it, it is, uh, it is, you see that it is like um, uh, scattering light. It, it, it has no, not with, it has no uh, large particles, but the, 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 this uh, enzymes and some uh, proteins probably inside, and uh, then the scatter light. And uh, but again, it's it very helpful. Since I used, uh, since I use this uh, tinctures uh, regular then my blood pressure dropped a lot. 
and I also was uh, giving it to my some acquaintance um, for long, maybe longer than six months, and then his blood pressure was always high. Now it is uh, below normal. I mean, not below normal, but it's close to what I have. Close to what I have. 120 to 80, like this, and even less than 120. Yeah, okay, then uh, another source of coronary inflammation is accumulation of uh, senescent or zombie cells, which uh, release pro-inflammatory signal molecules. And uh, again, again, first you have to reduce the amount of toxins which are coming to your body. But then, synalytics uh, can help in synostatics, and I have many videos about uh, synalytics and synostatics. I use it myself. I believe it, it helps. Especially like common stuff like berberine, quercetin, and even curcumin. curcumin and they are inexpensive and uh, they kill bacteria, and so especially it is helpful to kill this uh, pathogenic bacteria in, in your guts. So you have less uh, toxins coming to, to your bloodstream. And uh, quercetin also have been shown to lower uh, blood pressure and uh, have a beneficial effect on blood vessels, especially some variety of quercetin, which is named routine. And uh, uh, watch my previous video about quercetin. So it is considered as vitamin P. And it is used in cosmetic for skin rejuvenation. It is really uh, make uh, vessels uh, more elastic somehow. I don't know mechanism, I don't know, because again, it's, it's maybe related to accumulation of the senescent cells somehow. Okay, then don't forget to, to use the supplements together with vitamin C. And, um, and also one problem which uh, I sometimes have because uh, I changed to this diet uh, not, not so long ago and I losing, I'm losing fat, uh, I losing weight. But uh, when uh, I'm and with this one meal a day and then I'm uh, fasting, then uh, I use uh, fat, my accumulated fat as a source of energy. And when I burn in my fat, uh, then uh, there are toxins which are stored in the fat. Because uh, fat, why we have fat? Why people are getting obese? Because they consume so much toxins and, and your, your body just don't know what to do with it. So they try to find out some, um, some place to store it, to store it so, so it will make less damage. And what it is doing, it is just say, okay, make more fat, eat, eat glucose, eat some stuff which will produce more uh, adipose tissue and then we will put toxins inside. And then uh, again, you, you accumulate these toxins in your body and well, when you're losing weight, you have uh, uh, toxicosis. You have uh, toxins uh, coming to your blood and you, you feel very bad. Okay, the only way to reduce it, it is go to for exercises. When you're sweating, when you're sweating, then these toxins go to, um, uh, not to bloodstream, but go through the skin outside. And then you can wash out and uh, especially if you go swimming, it is very helpful. So the swimming, I believe, uh, is very, very helpful for for toxins, uh, for uh, detoxification of your body. But uh, cycling also good, cycling also good, but just take a shower after the exercise, that's it. Well, yeah, okay, then uh, again, uh, be, be patient, just follow. Uh, again, uh, this, I, I'm, I'm not supposed to give any medical recommendation, I'm a physicist, but I'm a scientist, that is my opinion which better don't follow, okay? Don't follow, it is for myself. This, I, I, I make this recommendation for myself. I say, I, I tell it myself, do so, do so. And it works for me, it works. I, I enjoy life and it is, you know, my, my endurance is coming up, 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 up. And I enjoy, uh, when I go to cycling, I really enjoy this and I enjoy, I enjoy swimming and I enjoy this uh, feeling of strength and endurance. So. Why? Because I follow my own recommendation. My own recommendation is like, okay, what you have can to do, it is, uh, yeah, follow my, this, what, what I told you. And there are some special cases like uh, you have low blood pressure but uh, high beat rate. It is quite an uh, quite indication of that your heart is, is, not, is not strong, it is weak. 
So it is trying to put enough blood to your body, but just cannot cannot do it because it is small and weak. And w what I can, can recommend, slowly, slowly, uh, again, first of all, change to carnivore diet, uh, consuming not a lot of proteins because you need to, to build your muscles, to build your heart, you need proteins. And then go to exercises and together with changing the diet, uh, together with uh, reduction of the toxins which are coming to your body. That's it, that's it. It that will make your body and heart stronger and more healthy. Okay, then again, it is only for informational purposes. It's uh, just a discussion. Uh, as I said, I am not medical specialist. I, I try to go to the subject and uh, this making presentations and making video helps me to structure my knowledge uh, and to s save time because I don't have much time uh, that's, uh, to learn about this med uh, medical and their biology. So it is new subject for me, but I uh, yeah, quite enjoy it to, 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 to go and think logically. <laughs> it is my profession, it's my profession. And I see this situation with it makes me really, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, okay, that's, uh, again, uh, I never use, I never go to, do, to a medical specialist, I never use uh, uh, this uh, recommendation, what they can, they can give, like, eat more fruits. I did it, you know, I did it. I, when I came to Thailand, I was eating a lot of fruits and I got psoriasis. I got a huge autoimmune uh, prob problems with autoimmune uh, dysregulation and I, I got the leaky gut problem. So again, now it is okay. Since I changed the diet and I feel much better, I feel much younger, I feel much stronger and uh, quite more happy. Uh, and uh, I have this motivation because uh, it is to live longer and to suffer in older age has no sense. This is why people normally don't want to extend the uh, lifespan. But if you inside strong, enjoy life and uh, it is you know, joy, such a joy to live, to see and think and uh, to see, or even even uh, if uh, the outside uh, this all the situation is quite dramatic, and uh, it, it it turns uh, that a lot of people are suffering and even go to suicide and have no money, and uh, personally also have some problems with uh, with it, with, uh, with money and with uh, this all this quarantine, it uh, doesn't make any anything better for me. But yet, uh, okay, yet I enjoy, I enjoy just it is some dramatic events and uh, if I will live through and uh, not many people will live through, believe me, and uh, we have this depopulation pro 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 program and uh, quite many people will just perish. And all the program of this, uh, it is not, again, I, I, I do not say that there are evil people and they are like satanic cookout and uh, yeah, well, they are satanical, but, but yet I say, they, they try just they understand problem, they try to solve it, but in their understanding, in their understanding, not in the understanding, in, in, not, in, uh, be, not to be uh, scientists, not to be Christians, they try to solve this problem from uh, their understanding, and their understanding is, is simple. Oh, we have too much population. To my opinion, the solution is different, the solution is different. We have to go to, uh, we have to, to have more progress. We have to go to outer space, to other planets. We have to grow in numbers, not to shrink, but to grow in numbers. But, 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 but we have to uh, take care of the IQ. People who have high, high IQ, who are able to use this high technology, to, who are able to think independently, they have, uh, they have to give some, I mean, advantage. But again, w what we are getting now, it is, it is a, the situation. It is a situation that uh, if you are a obedient uh, person with no critical thinking and uh, just follow the rules and you think that if you will be obedient and uh, you, uh, then you will, <laughs> you will be not punished, so you, you will get some... Uh, that reward, you will not be, you will not be. The, every step will be go deeper, deeper, deeper. And you, you have to understand, your life has no value 
to these people. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, in, in, sen in a sense, I also don't see the value of people who cannot think for themselves. If you cannot think for some, if you are not uh, adapted to creative, uh, creative activity and uh, to think and to enjoy, enjoy culture, enjoy music, enjoy uh, that's uh, good people and uh, good literature, but also do something and to help other people and uh, do something useful, okay, then life is good, life is good. And then more chances than you will survive. And even maybe you will extend your lifespan uh, much longer. As I said, it is quite diff difficult situation for many people because uh, you are just supposed to not live as long as uh, this retirement uh, or age. In uh, Russia now, uh, retirement age is 65. And uh, but half of population, half of, half of men, live uh, below 64. The average uh, lifespan in Russia 64, but uh, the retirement age is 65. So it means more than half of men are supposed to die. Again, if you if you don't don't understand the situation, if you cannot think for yourself, if you again if you're not watching my videos. And if you despise me, and if you think uh, doctors will take care of you better, then okay, then, well, whatever. Should I care? Should I care? I, pro I propose some program uh, to save life, to save life, to again, to be uh, a smart person and, and to use your brain. And uh, I hopefully I will I will live uh, uh, at least as long as I did. So I'm, I'm at my age 64 for now, but I, I hopefully I will live 130, maybe 160. And then why? Why? Because first it is very interesting time. I want to live through, despite all this suffering, despite all this uh, negative information which is coming from everywhere. I want I want to see the end. The the. Eventually, we will come to the end. Eventually, uh, there will be some, some new world. I hopefully not this new, uh, new order or new world order. Not not this, not this satanic uh, new world order, but something better, something better, some paradise, kind of paradise. And ca what kind of paradise? I don't know. I don't know. But it is certainly uh, can be related with computers, with robots, and uh, with. Uh, uh, with uh, deep space uh, flies, or something like this. So, and I wish to see it. I wish to see, it and I want to participate in it. I I, I try to participate as much as I can. This is my goal. Okay, then, guys, <laughs> I was talking too much. Okay, sorry. Uh, but so, if you're patient enough, uh, thank you very much. Thank you for the so the watching of the video and support of my channel. Comment, subscribe, like, ask questions, share information. Have a wonderful day. Till next time.